everybody quiet. Virtual Dagwin's looking for me. He wants to play another game of hide and seek. Oh no, wait. <laughs> That's what I'm doing now without even realizing. Run away! Hello everybody and welcome back to Survival Challenge. So there may be a bit of stuttering just to begin with because I've just had to uh, change all my graphic settings again, but it will soon clear. The good thing is, or at least I hope the good thing is, the uh, screen tearing has gone. If it's still there, then well, that's a total disaster because I've just spent forever <laughs> trying to remove it and when I did a test, it did disappear. So, hopefully, no more screen tearing. Um, which is really good because it, it was driving me crazy. I could not figure out what it was. In the end, I just uh, uninstalled the software. NVIDIA GeForce uh, recording software. And reinstalled it. I didn't do it immediately because I thought, how could that possibly make a difference? But, it did. So if you are experiencing the same problem, providing my problem isn't still here, uh, that is a uh, good place to start. It's just like when you have a problem with something, switch it off and switch it on again. It uh, usually will sort the problem. Okay, so I've just transferred some more wood chips. Uh, it looks like it is full. This one here hasn't started yet because it needs to have more manure. Just tip this here for now. We can use that in the future. But the other one, as you can see, has produced quite a lot of trees. They're all piling up. And I'm just going to have to try and remember exactly what we were doing. Um, yeah, I harvested this field here. This needs to be drilled. I've done the pH. We've spread the lime. So it just needs to have a new crop put in. And after that we can spray it for weeds. And Oh yes, we really should be rolling. I really don't know why I haven't been rolling. <laughs> it would be good to do that. Um, but yeah, is the price good for these? Because, yeah, they're really piling up here. They look really good. Very nice. This one we can start as soon as we have the manure. We might have it by now, actually. I'll have to go and check later. But first, prices. Let's just take a look. We can't see them yet because we need to buy this tent. I think the best place to sell them is going to be near to the maple syrup set point. That sort of selling area. However, hmm, it's going to have to be leveled. So one second, please. We'll sink this down a bit. Hopefully I can smooth it. Yeah, because that's going to actually be uh, really steep. I would just get it all sorted out quickly off camera. Right, that looks quite discreet. So I should be able to place this now without any problems. Put it there. It's actually really similar to the other cell point. Sale of ornamental trees and sale of maple syrup. I guess one thing we don't have here is a bit of gravel. Uh, we could probably drag some across for free. It's such a tiny area. See this texture? Yeah, just sort of blend that in a bit. There we go. They look good. But they're not ours, they're somebody else's. We need to bring ours across to here. And I think the best way of doing it is just on a flatbed. As the combine was uh, occupying the flatbed, I did tow it to here with that. Not something you normally do, but it worked. I used the money too, because it's gonna be really easy to get in here with this, with the four-wheel steer. Pop the trees on the trailer, and we'll get them sold. I can't actually see the prices on here. Uh, I might just be being blind, but uh, yeah, I can't see them. So I don't know if they actually do appear. Maybe it's just a set price. All aboard. So in the end, we had quite a few box pallets, five in fact, two bamboo and one agave. How many were there in total? Are we missing one? So I think they must be at different rates, different production rates. Because uh, everything is activated. Yep, they're all storing. Interesting. So this one here. Don't think I picked one up, did I? I don't think so. Uh, so, yes, we'll get this taken over to the uh, sell point. Make a bit of money to begin with. Uh, actually... Yeah, I think it must calculate it differently because you can see the amount of litres that we have. Two litres of one of them, five of another, and twelve of the bamboo. 
so we'll just have to see what happens here. It makes sense for it to be a different system because the tree is not green. Okay, so they may need some assistance. 104 pounds. Yeah, so they're priced about right actually. Maybe a little cheap. I suppose the big question is, is it worth it? If it wasn't for the chipper here, which was pretty expensive, uh, yeah, I think it would be very cheap, because it's just manure, wood chips, uh, seed, I suppose. Seed does add up. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think I was probably expecting a bit more money there, but still fun to do something different. I'll wait for more to uh, grow. And we do need to get the other one started, so we do need to get some more manure over here. But it comes down to the cows, really, because I think they've got all the straw they need. They just need to produce the uh, the manure. So, oh, we've also got tomatoes. Well, we'll pop this trailer here for another time. Uh, I really want to get cracking in this field. It'd be good to get it drilled and rolled. So that can be one goal for today. Ah, yes, I've still got my trailer over here. Well, actually, what we could do is detach the trailers. We just take this one off here. Because um, we don't need them at the moment. We may need them later. We can bring back a roller. Now, I very much doubt that we have a roller in the sale. Yep. Oh, look! It's that Valtra tractor that I wanted. Well, now it's in the sale. I have to get it. We don't actually need it as such but oh, I was so desperate to get it such it was just the price it was too expensive but now what's the deal 61% off oh we've got to have it wow that really puts the price up yeah because I suppose we are buying um, a certain machine a used machine but then like changing the engine and gearbox which is what it looks like we're doing here uh, that is significantly more expensive so if we go for this, specials, oh wow, cow edition, oh class edition, I think we'll go with standard, um, everything else could be standard, attached joints, ah yes, it would be good to have a three point linkage, obviously it puts the price up, front lifter and pin coupling, or Front lifter and pickup hitch. Which one would I prefer? I actually don't know. I think probably front lifter and pickup hitch. Same price. So wheel weights. Do you want wheel weights? There's loads of different options. No, again, I don't think we need to, but very nice to have the option. Fenders. It makes them wider and front fenders. I didn't even realise they weren't there. Wow. Uh, yeah, front fenders would make sense. Yes, it makes it look much better, actually. Attention plates, no, we don't need those. Intake pipe. Whoa. There's so many different options. Again, though, we don't actually need it. Uh, beacons. Yes, we definitely need beacons. Dashboard. I can't actually see the dashboard very well. I can just about make it out. Agro line. Pro line. Well, I'm guessing the Pro is better. It's £2,000 more, but no, we're going to go with AgroLine. Um, front loader attachment, probably something we'll get in the future, actually. And the colour, I'm actually really happy with the colour. So, the rim colour... Oh, no. <laughs> actually, it didn't look too bad, but no, I think we'll go with white. Uh, £50,000. So, in that case, we can use this tractor on the trailer, and the Valtra can do the rolling. Bit of a change of plan. It's also going dark, so I might just rest. It will give the cows some time to produce some uh, manure. So I'll get this taken back and then we'll return to get a roller. Uh, we should be able to buy one. If not, we'll have lots of things to sell in the morning. I'll park this down here for now. We're going to need the voucher for the roller but this one is going to be required for the drills. I think just on the right hand side will be fine. Just pop it there. Okay, back to the Valtra. It's gone dark quickly. 
I'm playing at times five. Uh, right, so let's have a look at this interior. I'm happy with that. I don't mind having the aggro line. I'm sure the pro line is uh, superior, but yeah, it's, it tells us everything we need to know. That's what matters. I'm the sort of person that likes basic electrics. I don't really like it when you have all these things. Like in a car, I, I, I couldn't bear to have an electric handbrake. It'd be a total nightmare for me. Uh, right, so, um, rollers. I could have got a mod, actually. But I think we'll go with this one here. We can afford it. Because we are coming into money. Look how shiny that paintwork is on the bonnet. That is beautiful. It does look good in red. You probably think I have a thing about red tractors. But I think red tractors do look pretty good. Do we have extra lights? Yes, we do. Okay, that's going to make a big difference. Ah, oh, that's interesting. So the front lower ones go off when I put the big ones on. There might be another button to control just the work lights separately. Yes, there is. Um, let's just see here. Numpad 6. It's still alternating between the two, though. And numpad 5 for the rear. Obviously indicators. Don't want to disable my <laughs> recording. One of these buttons stops my recording. Uh, yeah, so... We just need the standard lights to get back down to the farm. Maybe I should have repaired it. It would have been sensible to do that. We get a lovely sunset. Now I know that we still have potatoes to lift. This has been going on for a long time, actually. When did I plant them? August? September? <laughs> it's been a very long time. Um, but we've just been dealing with the ones that we've already got. So I think we'll probably start lifting them soon. Maybe even tomorrow. I don't want to be in the way with this. So I'll just pop it over here. Just in the trees. Make sure the handbrake's on. Otherwise we're going to roll away. Into the lake. And I'll see you in the morning. Because, yeah, it's gone dark pretty quickly. Faster than expected. But that's what it's like in December. But you do get those nice red sunsets. I should also put a gate in here, because I'm always going this way. Right. Let's sleep. The weather is always fine on this map. Lovely. Uh, yeah, I should really sell that. Should get rid of it. Uh, right, so, into the John Deere. I think we do have seed. Of course, yes, it's all in the shed. Um, if we do need any more, I can scoop it up with the Manitou. I could have also put it into the silo. I only discovered this after I did it, so it was a bit of a mistake. But then actually, thinking about it, it would have been quite difficult to get the drills under the spout to refill them, so maybe having it done like this with the uh, the Manitou would be easier. Right, so we've got quite a decent amount of fertiliser and of seed, so we'll just start. We'll just get it done. As for the crop I'm going to go for... I think it was sorghum before, so this time I think I'm going to go with wheat. Be good to go with the first wheat. So let's just change these settings very quickly. That's all set, and this time we're going to be drilling all the way through to the other side. So further than where the crop is currently standing. Uh, I just need to do a check to make sure I am actually putting two wheat crops in and not two different crops in, as I've done so many times before, but no, that's looking very good. And as we have the pH, that's all good as well. Yeah, so where all these weeds are, these are going to be uh, turned into this, the same field, just one big field of wheat. I don't know if we're going to have enough seed and fertilizer. Seed is not a problem. We can just go and fill up. Fertilizer on the other hand, I don't think we have any. So we'd have to buy some. But then it wouldn't be a big problem because what I can do is I can take the trailer full of tomatoes and other products and then we can make some money that way and then we can come back with some fertilizer. As for that field there, I don't think that's going to be wheat. That can be a different crop. 
but with this double drill setup that we have and have had for some time now, it doesn't take us that long to drill a field. If you go back to the first episodes, it was amazing. It took me forever just to do this piece. But then you've got to start somewhere. We've got quite a few maple syrup pallets and we've got some wool. So there's certainly things to sell, if necessary. Also, we have the potato processing factory, which probably has some products. Well, I seem to remember that last time I was playing on this map, I discovered that we had a score of 99 on the environmental uh, score. If it's still the same, then that's very impressive. It was quite a jump. It was also totally unexpected, <laughs> because before that, I wasn't doing that well. Let's just take a look at this and see. Yeah, 99 throughout. That's really going to help our profits and also the bonus that we get when we sell products. Keep that rear drill lifted because it's just not needed. Just doing a bit of patching up. Before we move on to the rolling, I'd like to go down to the other farm and hopefully get a bucket load of manure. Because then at least we can start this other production. I noticed that the greenhouse that we've already got running has produced a load more trees. So it seems to produce a lot. And we'll park this just here. It will be required in this field at some point. There we go. So yeah, where did I put the money to? There it is. Let's get over there. Uh, yeah, I think that the other crop that I put in next to the potato field is still growing. It looks pretty green from over here. So no rush to get anything done over there. We just need manure. I might just take one of these trailers just in case. Because if there is quite a lot, then it would be worth picking up all of it. We have got quite a few cows, so... You'd have thought there would be quite a lot of poop. Pooping over all this time. And yeah, lots of products here, as you can see. Okay. Uh, they might even need more straw. But let's just press R. Well, we've certainly got one bucket load, so that's something. That will get it started. Do we have enough to keep it going? That's two. Well, at this rate, we're going to have to start a time lapse, but if I do that, I know we're going to run out. That'd be probably a quarter of a bucket. Uh, so let's just go with three. See if we can get a third. Ah, there we go. 73% full. So we've emptied the manure pit. Um, but still very good. Thank you, cows. Lovely manure for the trees. Good job I bought a trailer. Although, yes, I should have probably brought the uh, little green one. How are they doing for straw? Oh, absolutely fine. Uh, food is a greater concern. So we're going to have to sort out the food. Uh, possibly tomorrow, if not today. Well, definitely tomorrow, if not today. Spin round. And yes, it was 7,217 litres. The greenhouse will greatly appreciate it. I don't see any reason why I shouldn't enable all of them. So I think we'll do all the trees again. Uh, we're currently set to tip side left. That should be just right. Yep. I'm not too sure what the capacity is. 
but it's taken all of that. Uh, so let's just take a look at it on the production menu. Ah, oh, it looks like it's 10,000 litres. So that is really good. Activate for all of these. We could just do one, but I think it's going to be much more interesting to do everything. And, yeah, look at that. Um, I should probably slide these out of the way so more can spawn. We don't want to stop the production. Oh, we've got one of these too. A yew tree. A beautiful yew tree. Good grief, the box certainly gets... Well, I was going to say it gets produced. It grows very quickly. Uh, maybe we should uh, cut down on box. That means the yew must be worth much more because it's taken so much longer to grow. Box must be really fast and easy. Well, I don't think it's that fast, but it is easy, I think. And we've got some other ones coming through. Good grief. Uh, I, I could even change it to uh, automatic selling. If it's just like a set price, then maybe that would make sense. Oh, no. No, no. I'm losing them over the cliff. Somebody down there is going to get showered in new trees. Oh, good grief. There's even more. So that explains why the prices aren't super high. It's because you get loads. Oh, they're coming out of our ears. My goodness. Well, we'll get those sold another time tomorrow. We must get this field rolled. It's very important. So this is a job for the Valtra. I think I did make the right decision because at the moment I can see that this tractor isn't super powerful. We could have upgraded it, but it would have been very expensive. That is the reason I didn't go for it in the first place. But yes, it's just so nice to have finally got it because although it's not, as I said, it's not required and it's not super powerful, it's just good to have. It's not the sort of tractor that I tend to use, so it makes a good difference. When I say that, I mean I don't tend to use Valtras. Right, so hopefully we can uh, do this at a fairly decent speed. Just see how powerful it is. Obviously it's going to be uh, not very powerful where it's climbing. But in a minute, when it's got into the right gear, it should pick up the pace. When we start to go up and down instead of around. Come on, Valtra. As I said, I probably should have serviced it. Well, I hit six. We can upgrade the engine horsepower in the future. Which would probably be worth doing. Okay, so we're almost there. These rollers aren't the fastest at the best of times, but we do need to get a bigger engine put into this traction. Now, it's having a good thing about it. What we could do is we could sell the Massey Ferguson that we have, and we could put the front loader on this, and we could really boost this one's um, engine and transmission. So we can get 50k, and we can also get a much higher horsepower. I need to compare the two, actually, horsepower-wise. Uh, clearly, it's, it's struggling with this, but then when you look at it, actually, it is quite a big roller. Another reason why that would be a good idea is because we're going to be getting another Massey Ferguson anyway, that older, bigger one, and yeah, it would just add variety to the farm. Instead of having two, we will have one and we'll have a Valtra instead. 
so I'll just be thorough and get this piece here but that is the field rolled uh, whilst it is just doing that little piece let's just quickly check our Massey Ferguson is 135 horsepower and it weighs four tons the weight of it is really uh, limiting for us I'm always getting it onto two wheels um, so let's just take a look and see what the voucher would be if we were to fully spec it so if we went for that one uh, with a front loader attacher 5.9 tons and 200 horsepower so that would make perfect sense that would be good let me know what you think but I think maybe even tomorrow it depends how much can we get for our tractor at least 25,000 that's not enough uh, in fact you might say that's wasteful because that, it's a good tractor very good tractor but at the same time it's not being used that much and that's mostly because it has been made obsolete because it is small but yeah this one <laughs> this one is a bit of a boost I don't know why it goes quite so slowly but it must be heavy okay well I think we're going to just wrap things up we'll put this over here uh, tomorrow as I said it would be really good to get that field done and we'll sell all of our trees that will help massively and we might start the potato harvest we've got another potato harvest um, in fact it would be good to get that done with the Massey Ferguson because it's got the row crop ties then once that is done it probably won't be needed again although actually did I not I can't remember now but I might not have even used it in the end because it was not powerful enough maybe I did do it with the John Deere anyway thank you so much for watching hopefully you've enjoyed it and until tomorrow see you again soon bye for now